Welcome back to Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. Well, if we haven't brightened up your day already, we're going to right now in the Garage Ed segment. Why is that? Well, we're talking about lighting and lighting's a safety issue and there's been a huge evolution of lighting throughout the years. Let's start out all the way over here on the basics. Everybody's familiar with most of these lights. This is a sealed beam headlight and everything's enclosed in it, caption in the car, plugs on the back, turn it on, incandescent light. Then we stepped up to composite headlamps. Now, composite headlamps, this is the one that's actually off a of Project m and last year. We upgraded that to LEDs. If you see the back of this, flip it around, you can actually see the bulb comes out right there. Now, this bulb is a halogen bulb. A couple of tips for you there. You don't want to go touching this bulb. Now, if you buy them from Rock Auto or you buy some good bulbs, a lot of times you can get some gloves that go with it. Or when you put them on there, make sure you're not touching that bulb because the oil gets attracted to it and it shortens the life of the bulb. So halogens, another way to go. Now, you've seen these before in the rear sockets. They come in amber or clear. Once again, a halogen bulb or an upgraded set with a little more power, a little more lumens, a little more light. Now we stepped up to HID, High Intensity Discharge Headlamps. This is pretty cool. Ordered this one off Rock Auto as well. This actually come from the factory in the car, but the cool part is you can see this ginormous arc tube right there. So what happens is you get this massive voltage spike, about 600 volts. It arcs through there, lights that xenon gas, and that thing brightens that beautiful white light that everybody likes. And then it goes back, doesn't burn much voltage at all. It's pretty cool. Then we step it up even further to LED lighting. Now I ordered this as well. This is an LED bulb. This is for off-road lighting or heavy tractor use and stuff like that. But this light's super bright and I'll show you why. Check out our board here. Basic lighting circuit. Turn it on, blinks to the left, blinks to the right. Nothing new here. Cool part is though, we talked about amps in a few series backs. Well, if you look right here and I hold that, you can actually see that flashing. Remember that amp draw? Heat, no heat. Heat, no heat. Exactly what's happening. It's open and closing like a little circuit breaker. Good tip for you as well if you're trailering or you're putting some extra lighting on there. The hazard is actually a heavy duty one because we're flashing all the lights so you can upgrade. Make sure you get your good flasher. Now, all that stuff's gone today. Actually have a body control module. Well, what that's all about? Well, when I turn on the signals, all I do is I tell him I want the turn signals and he runs it. You get that clicking? Well, that clicking's no more than that. It's coming over your radio speakers, but it's still clicking so you know your lights are on. Now, I wanna show you the difference between this LED an incandescent, so watch your eyes, here we go. Bam, huge difference. A lot less amp draw, a lot longer life. Now Tom from Rock Auto, he has a bunch of choices when it comes to lighting and safety issues. Let's join him 